Hello, my name is Jonathan Owen. I am the subject officer responsible for qualifications in chemistry at WJC EDUCAS. This presentation gives an overview of the new specification for A-level chemistry in England for first teaching from September 2015. EDUCAS is the new brand from WJC set up to provide reformed GCSE and A-level qualifications in England and other jurisdictions that are able to offer Ofqual regulated qualifications. Information will be provided on the content of the specification, assessment, practical work, assessment objectives, question types and resources. The specifications for both AS and A-level chemistry, together with the specimen assessment materials, are available to download from our website. Content in the new A-level is defined in three sections. The first section introduces the key ideas and concepts needed as a foundation for GCE chemistry. The topic titles are shown in this slide and the content amounts to approximately two and a half terms of work. Physical and inorganic chemistry includes a more detailed study of key concepts. Electrochemistry is introduced and this section features a quantitative study of thermochemistry, chemical kinetics and equilibrium. There's also a more in-depth consideration of the periodic table based on the P-block and D-block elements. Organic chemistry and analysis builds on the basics introduced in the first section looking at different aspects of isomerism and aromaticity and the properties and reactions of compounds featuring more complex functional groups. Knowledge and understanding is brought together and applied in the context of synthesis and analysis of organic compounds. There are very few changes to the specification content. The small changes made reflect the aims of promoting the understanding of key principles at the expense of recalled detail, increasing the emphasis on practical work and increasing the level of mathematical demand as required. Assessment of the new EDUCAS A-Level is by three written examination components. Each of components one and two contributes 40% of the qualification and component 3 contributes 20%. It is a requirement of all A-level specifications that learners must understand the links between different aspects of the specification content. All components will require learners to demonstrate their ability to draw together different areas of knowledge and understanding from across the full course of study. Component 1 is a 120 mark paper completed in 2 hours and 30 minutes. It is based on the content of the core ideas, principles and concepts section and that in the physical and inorganic chemistry section. Component 2 is another 120 mark paper completed in 2 hours and 30 minutes. It is based on the content of the core ideas, principles and concepts section and that in the Organic Chemistry and Analysis section. Component 3 is a shorter paper with a strong practical emphasis. It is a 60 mark paper completed in 1 hour and 15 minutes. Questions on this paper will be based on the whole of the specification content. All three components will be available for the first time in summer 2017 and the A-level qualification will be awarded for the first time in summer 2017. This is a linear qualification, so all units must be taken at the end of the course. Candidates wishing to resit the qualification will have to retake all components. Content in the new EDUCAS AS chemistry qualification is defined in two components. The sum total of this content is identical to that in the core ideas, principles and concepts section of the EDUCAS A-level chemistry specification. Both components are assessed by written examinations which each contribute 50% of the qualification. In both components, 
Learners will be required to demonstrate their ability to draw together different areas of knowledge and understanding from across the full course of study. Component 1 is an 80 mark paper completed in 1 hour and 30 minutes. It is based on the content of the Language of Chemistry, Structure of Matter and Simple Reactions section. Component 2 is another 80 mark paper completed in 1 hour and 30 minutes. It is based on the content of the Energy, Rate and Chemistry of Carbon Compounds section. Both components will be available for the first time in summer 2016 and the AS qualification will be awarded for the first time in summer 2016. This is a linear qualification, so both units must be taken at the end of the course. If candidates wish to resit the qualification, both components will have to be retaken. The AS and A-level qualifications have been designed to be co-teachable. This slide shows the titles of each content section in the AS specification, along with its reference in both the AS and the A-level specifications. The new specification has been developed to promote practical work as an integral part of teaching and learning in chemistry. The specified practical work that features in the specification must be carried out. However, most tasks are worded openly to allow centres flexibility in choosing their own exercises. So how will practical skills be assessed? In the AS qualification, there is no practical endorsement. Both written examination papers will include questions that will assess the candidate's practical skills. A minimum of 15% of the marks in each AS series will be linked to the assessment of practical skills. All three written examination papers will feature questions which assess practical skills, although the weighting of these will be much greater in Component 3. A minimum of 15% of the total number of marks in each A-level series will be linked to the assessment of practical skills. A practical endorsement will be awarded alongside an A-level grade to all candidates who satisfy the necessary requirements. To be awarded the practical endorsement, learners will need to consistently and routinely exhibit five different competencies. They will develop these competencies by carrying out a minimum of 12 practical activities which cover a range of techniques. They must also keep an appropriate record of their practical work using a lab book. This slide lists the assessment objectives for both AS and A-level chemistry. There is a greater weighting of AO3 in the A-level qualification compared with the AS. AO1 is higher in the AS, with AO2 broadly the same in both. Examination papers will feature a number of different question types, including short answers, structured and longer answer questions. Questions which assess the quality of extended responses will be clearly identified and referred to on the front page of the examination paper. They will be worth six marks each and will be marked using a different approach. A proportion of synoptic questions will test candidates' ability to draw together different areas of knowledge and understanding. Many questions will require candidates to engage with data from a range of familiar and new contexts. There are many resources that are available or will be available to support the teaching of the new A-level qualification. These include an interactive teacher guide, updated revision guides and a new textbook and a free question paper database. Lab books are available for purchase and guidance relating to the specified practical tasks can be downloaded from our website. 
We also send out email bulletins on a regular basis, giving important updates and news items. You can subscribe to receive these on the EDUCAS A-Level Chemistry webpage. Finally, you'll find additional resources and useful information on these websites, which you can access directly from the main EDUCAST and WJC sites. Should you have any questions regarding the new A-Level Chemistry qualification, then please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for listening.